to the UK news today today we have news that jobs coach hurling rocks and bricks from bridge at drivers traveling on busy motorway the P had already supplied a bricks and rubble smashing several windscreens and jarring over driver a few of workmates who threw rocks and bricks off a motorway bridge on two cars have been jailed for two and a half years age. Warehouse Min John Avanderft and Peter Nogent also used improvised missiles to target cars and arrays from King Weston Land Bridge over the um, 49 and M5 Slips Road. Bristol Ground Court heard they had to ready supply of bricks and rubble as they walked home in the morning after work, smashing several windscreens and injuring one driver last year. A judge said it was only by some higher inward intervention that no one was killed. Arendov and Nogent both 19 police guilty to four charges of obstructing a road and a single charge of assault occasioning actual bodily harm. Recorder Mr. Tommy Griggs told the teenagers this was on busy complex area of the motorway with cars and lorries traveling at speed. At speed. Due with daily about multiple accident on motorways and are people being killed people being injured it is absolutely by the grace of god people were not killed there was horrifically dangerous activity they threw bricks on and rocks people who are involved in this and people who read about this would be absolutely horrified and find it unacceptable of the privateers did not first immediate prison. One of the men subsequent said the system as she left court. Simon Goodman persecuting said B M W driver Laurent Renon saw two loud two lads on the bridge and just gone eight am before alarm of a brigade cracked his windscreen and he reported the matter to police from work. Weeks after Christopher and the rushed server in the fall is got estate towing the ten thousand pound canvas to be rent of a holiday where the bright rock smashed through window of the caravan. A vending machine cup to like the type of font the teenagers work placed it was also lobbed and served and stuffed full of stones, gravel and brick. The court heard this later lorry driver James Astrong hit the windscreen of his four T4 tone DF Simon truck cracked before a lump of concrete hit him in the chest. Amazing he drove on to this good call his the pitch as well as police and attended hospital with several bruising. Next morning lorry driver Tom Swingler heard a loud crash and found his near side mirror smashed and small dent in his passenger door the court heard. Two days later, lorry driver still motors spotted two boys on the bridge before one threw something down and his windscreen smashed covering him in glass. Mr. Goodman said there was a brick in the windscreen. He saw two males walking away. Police investigating the incident patrol the area and security board 
three men saw it appear coming from the area, they were arrested. It transpired. They worked 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. shifts in Bournemouth, sometimes leaving as early as 30, 7.30 a.m. before walking home over the bridge. Initially, both denied wrongdoing. For Rash, Rashid, defending Noyant, a vote wrote in Lawrence Weston said her clients could not explain why they did what they did but had shown remorse and concern for victims. The Rakt Puri defending Adoroft of so much dry in Lawrence Western said, maybe their brains have not caught up with their bodies. They did something to get a thrill without thinking about its consequences. Adoroft's grandmother Padika speaking from her when she told the judge, he's one of the best as regard as a grandson to his name. Thank you very much for listening to the UK News today. I hope you enjoyed this news. Please subscribe to the channel to get more news. Thank you. So welcome to the UK News today. Today we have news that mom chill after sending an amazing message to burglar, she provided with false Alibi. Shepherdy Geld had claimed the man had been with her all night, but later admitted to making false witnesses' statement, with the intent to pervert the course of justice. Seven Gay sent a text to Oilgate burglar, which learned her in jail. A young mum who lied to the police to give an alleged burglar false alibi was caught out when sent a message to the suspect. Mom of two Sepenega 22 of the Valley Street Clusters has been jailed for three months after she claimed that the man was with her all night trying to prevent him being charged with burglary. But her lie was exposed with a police check mobile phone signals between her and a man and found he was ill well at the time. Galamitted to making false witness statement returned to prevent the course of justice on December 30 last year and was jailed for three months. Prosecutor Richard Ponsoner said God told police that the alleged burglar was with her on the night of December fire reports Gloucester Shire lived before she made a sworn statement to the effect a police official wanted to think carefully because of the seriousness of what she was doing. But she assured the officer she would not lie because of the potential consequences for her young children. She then went ahead and signed the statement saying he could not have committed the burglary as he was with her. However, subsequent investigations established the man was nowhere near her home at the time she said he was said Mr. Ponzu. The man was then taken into prison custody and managed to get a hold of mobile there. God texted him telling him she had whole life and boosting why am I actually so amazing. Greer Buckley defending said the man had told girls it was about a drink driving charge and she did not realize it was a serious burglary. She comes to court today to verify on what may happen to her. Miss Buckley said it is clear there was a degree of manipulation here. She is not an average 22 years old lady. 
she has been a victim of domestic abuse by two previous partners. One of them is still serving a prison sentence abuse of her. Her experience, her experience of me is perhaps is not the best. She is incredibly vulnerable. Her wish to please her partners is greater than most. This man did not threaten her to do this big, but she says he did on occasion drink to exhaust and lost her temper. He never struck her, but there was always an underly fear that he would go too far. Just two boys, youngest being one. She is effectively bringing them up single-handed. She has triple difficulties with the younger one. Her mother has come to court today, and will provide some assistance, some assistance if she is sent to prison. Jelinga Judge Shami Toba told her the offense was so serious that that he could not overlook it, and he had to pass an immediate jail term. People who lie in sworn statements and provide false alibis undermine the entire justice system," he said. Thank you very much for listening to the UK News today. I hope you enjoyed this. You please subscribe our channel to get more news. Thank you.